Welcome to the wild world of Pepsi, where we take a look at every single drink that Pepsi has put out. Where in this video, we're taking a look at Pepsi Blue. Pepsi Blue was described originally by Pepsi as Berry Cola Fusion. It was a cola that was blue in appearance and had a sweet berry taste that some said tasted like blueberry cotton candy. Pepsi Blue was created after the success of Mountain Dew Code Red, which was released in May of 2001. As Pepsi saw their cherry-flavored Mountain Dews sell a lot more than expected, they looked to create a similar style of flavor for Pepsi itself, so they went to work. During development, Pepsi tested over 100 variations of new Pepsi formulas. Pepsi brought in teenagers to try the berry-flavored cola for taste tests. On paper, it was Pepsi's decision to name it Pepsi Blue with the bright blue color. The soda originally was just a brown color, but it was the teenagers taste testing the soda that said they should make the soda a bright blue color, much like how Mountain Dew Code Red was a bright red color. As Mountain Dew Code Red was a huge moneymaker, Pepsi saw this input from the teenagers as a no-brainer. Through late 2001 to early 2002, test version bottles of Pepsi Blue were given to people close to Pepsi to try out. These test version bottles were quickly made with labels consisting of paper instead of the standard plastic. This early label also had a tagline that read, Cola with a burst of blue flavor. Up until this point, all the initial taste tests of the soda were full of high praise. After nine months of testing, the name Pepsi Blue was trademarked on April 25th, 2002. August 2002, Pepsi Blue was released nationwide in Canada and the United States. Its packaging and commercials targeted the teenage demographic. The packaging displayed a tribal tattoo-looking design with a sharp knife-looking font spelling out the word blue. Pepsi Blue was described as Berry Cola Fusion with its official flavor simply labeled as Berry. People who tried Pepsi Blue compared it to a blueberry and cotton candy sweet taste that was much more sugary than regular Pepsi. The commercials at the time that hit TV screens featured popular bands like Papa Roach and Sev. They also went down the product placement route for Pepsi Blue, making appearances in movies like Garfield the Movie and The Italian Job. Upon its release, Pepsi Blue sold very well on the basis that it was new and it also had a huge promotional push. But it was plagued with controversy from the start, as the ingredient Blue One that gave the soda its bright blue color had some problems. Even though Blue One, or Brilliant Blue, is non-toxic and safe in food and drink, people still questioned this coloring agent as it was banned in several countries. In September of 2003, Blue One was slapped with a public health advisory alert of its toxicity when used in feeding tubes. The relation of it being used in Pepsi Blue wasn't a good sign. By May of 2004, not lasting more than two years on the market, Pepsi Blue was discontinued in the United States and Canada. Why it failed was a variety of reasons. But the two largest were the Blue One controversy and the slowing sales after its first year. Pepsi Blue seemed to have followed the same fate as Crystal Pepsi with its huge sales in the beginning and then a massive slowdown in sales right after. But in other countries, Pepsi Blue lived on. Late 2002, Pepsi Blue was released overseas for a limited time in the Philippines. It was also available in India in 2003. The Netherlands saw a limited release during the holidays of 2003, and then in other countries later on saw pop singer Britney Spears promoting the drink in countries like Vietnam. Throughout the mid to late 2000s, Pepsi Blue popped up in various countries in Asia, such as Japan, Malaysia, the Philippines, and Indonesia. For a limited time in 2011, Pepsi Blue came back to the Philippines under the name Pepsi Pinas. The soda saw such huge sales that once the limited run ended, it was re-released permanently as Pepsi Blue. For the longest time, Pepsi Blue was a permanent brand in Indonesia from the late 2000s up to 2020. Being sold in a more basic looking packaging, 
The Indonesian version was blue tinted, but it tasted more like regular Pepsi than a berry flavor. It seems to have been discontinued in 2020, but in Asian markets, it still might be available. May 3rd, 2021, 17 years after it was discontinued in the US and Canada, Pepsi Blue was re-released for a limited time for the summer of 2021. Available in 20-ounce individual bottles and 6-packs of 16.9-ounce and 16-ounce bottles, the packaging was pretty basic with the exception of the United States flag design. Now, obviously in Canada, the packaging didn't include this. This re-release of Pepsi Blue was to coincide with the 4th of July holiday in the United States. Seeing that this re-release of Pepsi Blue had an 8-week time window, it was timed perfectly to have the re-release end on the 4th of July. By August of 2021, all the leftover Pepsi Blue stock was sold off, and Canada, nor the United States, has seen it again. But, much like its first release, Pepsi Blue lived on in other countries since. As in countries in the Caribbean islands in Latin America, it was released for the holiday season of 2021. And again in 2022, Pepsi Blue was re-released once again in the Philippines. Taking a look at what I've got, we'll start with the cans. First is a 12-pack of cans from the original 2002 United States release. Next is a 2006 limited time release from Malaysia. After that is a 2007 Pepsi Blue Chilled Cola version from Indonesia. And last is an Indonesian can from 2020. Looking at the bottles I've got, first are a 20 ounce and a 1 liter bottle from 2002. Second is a 2003 limited edition holiday bottle from the Netherlands. Third is an Indonesian bottle from 2020. Fourth is a 20 ounce and six packs of 16.9 and 16 ounce bottles from the United States re-release in 2021. And the final bottle is from Puerto Rico from the holiday season of 2021. Other Pepsi Blue merchandise I have from 2002 is a baseball cap, two t-shirts, one featuring the logo and the other featuring some 8-bit characters drinking Pepsi Blue, a full-size notepad to jot down all of your important notes, a cardboard light-up grocery store display, and a large inflatable Pepsi Blue bottle and Pepsi Blue can. A huge thank you goes out to Damien at Collecting Soda on Instagram for providing the photos for the test-run Pepsi Blue bottles. He is a great follow on Instagram, as he has a monumental collection of soda that a man like myself could only dream of. And that's the scoop on Pepsi Blue on the wild world of Pepsi on Industrial Industries World Radio.